The Constitution will hang by a thread, but who will save it? This is a related video to a previous video called The Divine Constitution or Our Divine Constitution. There's so much prophecy by modern day prophets from the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter day Saints about the U.S. Constitution and how it is, div it is a divine document and one that we should study. And here are some of the reasons why we should study it and some of the prophecies about it. What will happen? Even this nation will be on the verge of crumbling to pieces and tumbling to the ground, and when the Constitution is on the brink of ruin, this people will be the staff upon which the, na the nation shall lean and they shall bear the Constitution away from the very verge of destruction. Joseph Smith, Jr. The time will come when the government of th these United States will be so nearly overthrown through its corruption that the Constitution will hang as it were by a single hair and the Latter-day Saints, the elders of Israel, will step forward to its rescue and save it. Joseph Smith as recorded by Eliza R. Snow The Constitution in Peril Brethren and sisters, let me say, in closing, that we have it of record that the prophet Joseph Smith said the time would come when, through secret organizations taking the law into their own hands, not being governed by law or by due process of law, but becoming a law unto themselves, when by those dis disintegrating activities the Constitution of the United States would be so torn and rent asunder, and the life and property and peace and security would be held of so little value that the Constitution would, as it were, hang by a thread. But he never said, so far as I have heard, that that thread would be cut. I believe, with Elder Richards, that this Constitution will be preserved but it will be preserved very largely in consequence of what the Lord has revealed and what this people through listening to the Lord and being obedient will help to bring about to stabilize and give permanency and effect to the Constitution itself that also is our mission that also is what we are here for I glory in it I praise God with all my heart and soul that I am a member of it that is Charles W. Nibley in the October 1923 General Conference in connection with the attack on the United States the Lord told the prophet Joseph Smith there would be an attempt to overthrow the country by destroying the Constitution Joseph Smith predicted that the time would come when the Constitution would hang, as it were, by a thread. And that time, this people will step for, forth and save it from the threatened destruction. It is my conviction that the elders of Israel, widely spread over the nation, will at that crucial time successfully rally the righteous of our country and provide the necessary balance of strength to save the institutions of constitutional government that is by Ezra Taft Benson in a conference in the 1961 October conference will the Constitution be destroyed no it will be held inviolate by this, this people and as Joseph Smith said the time will come when the destiny of the nation will hang upon a single thread. At that cru critical juncture, this people will step forth and save it from the threatened destruction. It will be so with regard to the doings of our fathers and the Constitution of the United States. I have to say, they present to us a glorious prospect in the future, but one we cannot attain to until 
the present abuses in the government are corrected. That was by Brigham Young. This one is from John Taylor. It looks very much like as though the time was drawing near when the, this country will tumble to pieces. For if the people of this nation are so blind and infatuated as to trample underfoot the Constitution and other safeguards provided for their liberties, or for the liberties of man, we do not propose to assist them in their suicidal and traitorous enterprises. For we have been told by Joseph Smith that when the people of this nation would trample upon the Constitution, the elders of this church would rally round the flag and defend it. And it may come to that. We may be nearer to it than some of us think. For the people are not very zealous in the protection of human rights. And when legislators, governors, and judges unite in seeking to tear down the temple of liberty and to destroy the bulwarks of human freedom, it will be seen by all lovers of liberty that they are playing a hazardous game and endangering the per perpetuity of human rights. For it will not take long for the unthinking to follow their lead, and they may let loose an element that they never can bind again. We seem to be standing on the precipice, and the tumultuous passions of men are agitated by political and party strife. The elements of discord are seething and raging as if pretending and coming portending a coming storm portending a coming storm, and no man seems competent to take the helm and guide the ship of state through the fearful breakers that threaten on every hand. These are dangerous things, but it becomes our duty as good citizens to obey the law as far as practicable and be governed by the correct principles. President John Taylor. This is be our concluding quote. You and I have heard all our lives that the time may come when the Constitution may hang by a thread. I do not know whether it is a thread or a small rope by which it now hangs, but I do know that whether it shall live or die is now in the balance. I have said to you before, brethren, that to me the Constitution is a part of my religion. In its place it is just as much a part of my religion as any other part. It is a part of my religion because it is one of those institutions which God has set up for his own purposes, and as one of the brethren said today, set up so that this church might be established because of under no other government in the world could the church have been established as it has been established under this government. J. Reuben Clark in the conference of October 1942. So there is so much revelation, so many quotes about the Constitution, its importance, and our responsibility, I dare say, to save it. All of Christ's words, all of God's words will be fulfilled, and the prophecies that have been made will be fulfilled. Will we be part of helping this prophecy come to pass by taking small moments of our time getting a copy of the Constitution, printing a free copy off the internet, reading it with our family, not spending each day reading it, but at least reading it from time to time in our family, then I believe we will be able to help fulfill this, these prophecies. We will live up to the standard the Lord has set for us and understand what He expects of government so much better since he did establish for his own purposes the Constitution and has declared it to be a divine document.